with streaming services everywhere rolling out some awesome new shows, it can be a bit overwhelming deciding what to watch. But one show in particular, brought to us by Apple TV, looks to be one of the wildest, most epic sci-fi fantasy dramas this side of Game of Thrones. Wiener, wiener, wiener. We are talking about the brand new C, and if you haven't checked out the trailers yet, you're in for an awesome surprise. This show has everything. A far in the future and yet somehow simultaneously medieval landscape, epic episode long battle scenes in the woods, mad evil queens who pray in a style that most definitely would not be allowed in your local church and or synagogue, and of course, Jason Momoa doing what he was literally born to do. But we're getting ahead of ourselves here. C is a show that takes place 600 years in the future. After a viral apocalypse has wiped out all but 2 million people, who now live scattered across the globe. The most important detail about the show is that the virus left all remaining survivors completely blind, a trait that has been passed on down to their children and their children's children. In fact, it has been so long since any human was born with eyesight that the residents of Earth have come to believe that sighted people were actually a myth who had their vision taken away from them by God as a means to heal the earth. Over centuries, humans have reverted back to a tribal culture, living in small communities who are often at war with one another. These communities contain hunters and gatherers, and a few mystics scattered throughout. Jason Momoa plays Baba Vos, the leader of a tribe known as the Alchemy. And when we say he was born to play this role, we mean it. Momoa is in peak form here, rocking braids, a man bun, and bloody animal hides better than just about anyone else could hope for. He wields a giant sharpened bat with lethal force, and actually fist fights a bear in one scene. He doesn't even use his bat, he doesn't need to. But while we got to see bits of humanity in Khal Drogo as Game of Thrones went on, Momoa really gets the chance to play all parts of Baba Vos this time around. While he's a fierce leader and formidable warrior, he is also a kind, gentle man who really wants a family even though he is unable to father children himself. So when a mysterious pregnant woman finds her way to the Alchemy's little village, they believe fate has brought them together and quickly fall in love, with Momoa taking on the role of father to her children. And here's where things really get going. This woman, Magra, happens to give birth to the first two children in centuries to be born with the ability to see. While we don't find out anything early on about the man who is responsible for these extraordinary kids, it becomes a point in the show that the Alchemy want to find him and begin a new generation of sighted people. But not everyone considers the children a blessing. In fact, most believe that sight is evil and should be destroyed. Immediately, word spreads and neighboring tribes start trying to attack the Alchemy in order to either steal or get rid of the children. There is one person in particular who is hell-bent on getting her hands on them. While many tribes live without any comforts of the society we know today, there is still one civilization with electricity, ruled over by the especially insane Queen Cain, played to bonkers perfection by Sylvia Hoax. This is the lady we mentioned before, who has a particular way of praying that you will just have to check out for yourself because we really can't get into it here. As soon as she finds out about the children, Queen Cain becomes desperate to have them brought to her, either so she can get rid of them, or so she can use them to her benefit. We're not totally sure about that one yet. What follows are a ton of massive scale action sequences, tons of expertly choreographed fight scenes, and lots and lots of drama all taking place on some incredibly beautiful landscapes. The show was created by Stephen Knight, the man who brought us Peaky Blinders, so you can bet that we're in for a ton of growly, low-talking television and violent rivalries between scary yet endearing men. Alongside Stephen, the episodes were directed by Francis Lawrence of the Hunger Games franchise, and if anyone knows how to create a post-apocalyptic, action-packed epic, it's him. The combination of the two leads with a visually stunning and totally new tale makes for a show that you do not want to miss. One of the most interesting parts of the show overall is how they handle the character's inability to see. The show actually hired a handful of visually impaired actors to be part of the show, alongside a blindness consultant to help them bring authenticity to the world. Specifically, they learned how exactly these people would engage in battle, and how they would move around the world using all of their other senses. Before one battle scene, we see them using an elaborate series of tongue clicks and finger taps in order to let one another know where the enemy is. We won't give away too much else about that, because you really need to watch it for yourself to see it unfold. While it might seem like the fantasy genre has tapped out of brand new ideas, C is a seriously unique take on the genre. It is also really fun and a little bit terrifying to see how they have interpreted our world 600 years in the future. There are crumbling relics of our civilization that appear throughout, and, we're sorry to say, plastic bottles that have survived the test of time. C is completely crazy and one of the most original ideas to come around in a long time, and definitely not to be missed.
How do you think this epic new show sounds? Are you excited to check it out? Or is fantasy really not your thing? Can you imagine any role better suited for Jason Momoa? If so, what is it? Let us know in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe to The Binger to keep up with all of our newest videos.